Everybody, thanks for joining us on today's, I don't know, this is the, I keep talking about these, they make me smile so much, that's why I love being around them. You know, they're, they're just, what they're almost like the perfect car. You can go to a winery in them, you can go downtown and just need a little motorcycle space to put them in. They get incredible fuel economy. They are a game changer when you go out with another couple to dinner or take the kids or something like that. And these are beautifully restored. We import them from Italy, right? That's their original homes uh, with left-hand drive and restored cars. So rebuilt engines and transmissions and new paint and new interior and glass and all kinds of things like that. And then we uh, make sure that the last little details are good and that you can enjoy this amazing, amazing machine. We're gonna take a minute, look at some of the detail that you do get, right? And you'll see why this might be different than some of the other ones that are out there. And uh, we'll find a way to get it in your garage. All right, so let's take a look at the quality of paint. And the reason why I spend a minute like that is because these are significantly nicer uh, paint and body wise than they were from the factory circa 1967 all the way up to the 74s that we carried. The, the, the reason why I like to do the video is because pictures can hide the quality of paint. The video will show you and I'll show you how to see that. If for some reason uh, this car gets sold before you get it, then and make someone else do the video for you as well. And let me show you what you need to do. Come on up here and let's take a peek at the quality of paint. You need to make sure that you can see all of the letters, but not all of just the letters. They need to be crisp. You need to be able to read each one. The better quality of the paint, the crisper the letter is in the, in the video. All right, so I want to take a peek under here for a minute because part of the restoration uh, continues in here. So this is all repainted in here. The Vintag is super clear. A very important piece to this for a car that hasn't been in an accident and had major panels replaced is the VIN number is still stamped on there. The chassis number to the car is stamped inside here, stamped into the metal of the car, right? It's not a plate that's riveted to it. Uh, it does have the plate above it, but it also is stamped in there. The jack is painted a different color. The gas tank is painted black. Uh, the reason I bring that up is because, you know, you could spray bomb the whole thing black and look like it's restored, but when you take the time to detail all this out, it looks really cool. And I believe, I don't know for sure, but I believe it's a circa 1967 vintage spare tire because it's a bias ply belt, uh, belted tire, not a radial tire. And uh, that might be kind of cool just to put in your, in your office, man. They kind of hang out. No, you got a Fiat 500 sitting at home, right? Anyway, let's, uh, that right there is a good indication of restoration. All right, so a big part of these cars, I love this, is the baskets that come with them, right? Uh, this right here. Can you imagine, man, going to, look, look at the smile I got. Can you imagine going to uh, a picnic or the lake or going someplace with somebody? You got this on the back, you unstrap it, take it over with you. It's a picnic basket. It comes with the car, right? I just unhooked it so that you could see uh, how it works. But it's just a cool little piece in addition to it. This rack is really nice. And then back inside here, we have a beautifully restored, rebuilt, and detailed uh, drivetrain, right, where we have uh, all of this is repainted, new clutch, uh, belts, and plugs, and rebuild, and what have you, so that we can uh, know that you're going to enjoy some, some quality time on the road for this car, you know what I mean? You can wheel it for a while, enjoy some power. It also has a little bit more power than uh, came stock from the factory, so that's good news as well. All right, so come join me inside here. And the reason I like to spend a second in here is because I'm 6'1", so a lot of people are worried that these cars aren't big enough inside. They have plenty of room. Look how much room is back here. People can jump in the back. Makes it nice and easy. There's a lot of room up in here. I love the interior of this car. The blue with the white piping, uh, the floor mats that are custom to match, right? The white dash. If you want to, we can hide uh, a stereo. We can either put it here or we can hide it uh, under the dash there or under the seats. Uh, if you want to get my digital sound system right, so you can stream your music, uh, Bluetooth, um, and, and satellite as well. So you're rebuilt, uh, and you got some nice gauges and lights and what have you, but the great thing about it is just the way it feels and the way it fits. You just fit inside this car so well. I just see going around, bopping around town, parking at some place out front or a valet, leaving this car out front and taking a Porsche and pushing it around the side. All right, so we close up the video on this. I mean, beautifully restored, 67 Fiat 500 cabriolet right this is a working man's car so a lot of people say tone well i love that car and it is probably everything i've ever dreamed of but how will i take care of it where i live so that i don't live anywhere near you well the good news is because most of these parts have been rebuilt or replaced you won't need to do much to it but we can help find somebody who can service it right somewhere near you not to mention uh there's a lot less parts on this car than today's modern car there's no abs and there is no uh, digital talking between each wheel. It's not designed for that. It's designed to enjoy some real analog time alone. Sometimes I like to do this. I like to tell people, listen, man, I'm on my way home. 
I'll see you in a little bit. I shut off my phone. No Twitter feed, no Facebook feed, no Insta feed, no feed feed, no emails, no texting, no nothing. See how connected we are? This is a perfect way to disconnect. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this cool Fiat 500, not to mention we are the largest importer of these vehicles, and I think we know what we're doing. If you would, don't forget to like the video, and if you'd share it with your friends, that would be awesome, and please subscribe to the channel so we can keep sending you new content.